three, two, one. <laughs> this is Magic Brad with The Magic Brad Show, and I've got my friend Bo on today. How you doing, Bo? Fantastic. It's Thank fun you. interviewing people that are local, because like I mentioned before, I've been doing this for a while, and I end up getting people in Bali, Indonesia, and Singapore, and France, and United States, but now you're in my hometown. In fact, don't you live in like Plymouth? No, actually, I'm just an hour west of the cities. West. I'm, I'm over in Hutchinson. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But you know, you're a worldly kind of fellow, so it's not surprising you're interviewing people from all over the world. I'm a what? I'm a worldly kind a of fellow? A worldly fella. Oh, yes. I'm global. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the fascinating thing with me the internet. I mean, it's a, it's a love-hate relationship with the whole thing, because I used to be in the people business, right. and then back in the 90s, was when I was doing my event planner expo. And then in 1998, the internet came along and it really disrupted the in-person meeting. Everybody started trying to go .com and you know what happened with that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what it's done is it used to be you like, you, you wanted to broadcast and get as much information out as possible. And the internet now has turned into being narrow cast and finding that select group of people that are ideal. So what your thing is, and I'm kind of jumping forward into the whole business thing, First, You're I good. wanted the people to know about you. You live on okay. the west side. How long have you lived over in that area? Uh, I, we moved, my family moved to Hutchinson in, uh, eight and a half years ago. Yeah, okay, eight so and a half years ago, March 15th. Roots there. And family, you got married and got kids and all that kind of thing? Yeah, married uh, for uh, 18 years, I think now. Uh, three daughters. And uh, so, yeah, uh, busy. How is, it, how is it being a man with three daughters? It's amazing. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a gift. Uh, it, as they get older, they they have a little more challenge getting along with mom, but for some reason we, we've managed to keep it civil. Well, here. I, I, what I was alluding to is, you know, that uh, as a parent, and I'm not a parent, but I'm very, very observant yeah. and I've got a good friend that's got a daughter and I know that he's fairly protective. And yeah, so uh, I've always been a pretty protective guy. So, so far I've had no friction over all of that, but uh, how old yeah, I, it's the greatest blessing ever. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. How, old, how old are your daughters? Uh, oldest will be 17 in about two months. Okay, uh, the so other still one. fairly young, but getting into that dating thing, and you got to kind of yeah. meet the guy at the door and says, what are your intentions? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get there soon. Uh, middle one's 15, and my youngest is 10. So Let's they're in kind of different spaces. Good, and then they get along real well? They do. It's phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, this uh, quarantine, this uh, COVID-19 thing is just, you know, forced that much more togetherness, and it's mm-hmm. They were already really close. We don't have any other family nearby. So we just kind of have each other and, and we leaned even more into each other. And so it's, it's pretty awesome. Well, that's yeah. really good to hear. Cause I know that sometimes they have that sibling rivalry thing. And I, I never yeah. had any issues with any of my brothers. I got one full brother and then I got two half brothers and two half okay. sisters. And we never had any issues with anything, but sometimes yeah. you get these families and they, they're at each other's throats. It's really, really weird. It's like your yeah. family, man, chill out. <laughs> Yeah, right on. Yeah. Let's, uh, I don't like to do these too long. I mean, I would love okay. to do them long, but I don't want to consume everybody's time because there's only 24 hours in a day. It's a very slice. Yeah. And once you lose that time, you never get it back, right? That's right. So let's get right into it and talk about what it is that you offer the business world because that's where I'm at. I'm all about business and making money and being self-employed. So yeah. Let's talk uh, a little about you do. Yeah. So I wear a few hats. Um, uh, you know, yeah, so hat. I, I, I'm not wearing one now, but uh, I, I okay. do have a few hats in life that I wear. So I am a uh, business owner. Uh, I have a couple of different things that I operate. So one primary day job, I am an insurance agent. Um, I own an insurance agency here in Hutchinson. And so that's my, my daily gig. I have three employees full time and uh, it's, I've been in the insurance world for 15 years. So that's been awesome. Uh, I have a couple side things that I'm involved with. I have a RV rental business uh, that's been a great success the last few really? years. Yeah, and uh, it's just one RV, but it's a perfect five-star reviews. We've had a great experience with that. Uh, very, very minimal time commitment side hustle. We bought well, an RV. It's almost like a Airbnb, mobile Airbnb, right? It's exactly what it is, yeah. And uh, so we wanted to buy it one and make it free to us by renting it out to people, and it's been a crazy experience. The first renters we had came from France. We met them at the airport. They took off for two weeks. We met them back at the airport. They had a great trip. It was really cool. That's cool. So, yeah, yeah. So that's been neat. Uh, met some amazing families from around uh, the country doing that. And then uh, another thing I got involved with about a year and a half ago 
Uh, I am the uh, Chief Appreciation Officer of betterappreciation.com. And uh, what it is, I'm an independent referral partner for a company called Banner Season. And Banner Season, uh, their slogan would be, you're already in their mail, or in their inbox, get in their mailbox, right? We are overwhelmed with digital messaging and uh, yeah. some of those land really well. But the concept of uh, sending somebody a package in, in the world of giftology, uh, they have a 100% open rate. It's that simple. When you send somebody a package in the mail and it's got their name on it and they open it up, it is, it, they're always open. And when so you, the experience is amazing. So I use it for my insurance agency and I use it for my thank yous in my uh, uh, RV business. I got one from you. I remember you sent one to me. And True story. It's, it's intriguing yeah. because... <laughs> It is a 100% open rate because I'm not going to let it sit there, especially when I when you hinted to me what's inside. I thought, right, and it's got my name on it and stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. It's it's been a um, I, I've started sending you know personalized cards and gifts. You can send brownies with a specific you know personalized label. The, the most popular thing I've ever sent, and when we went to quarantine, um, I sent packages to many of my insureds, uh, my teacher clients, my commercial clients, things like that. And it was a uh, isolation survival kit. And it really was a, a clever card and, uh, and a couple of brownies. Uh, the brownies would say something along the lines of, uh, in case of chocolate emergency, break plastic. And I received message after message after message from people saying, today's the day the plastic is being broken. So was, was that you that put that together or was the corporate, they packaged it up for you so you can just kind of- yeah. Oh, great question. So here's the way it works. You can use your phone, you can use a tablet, you can use a computer, you create the order, you can buy designs that are already in the, in the store, if you will. It's like an Etsy store in, internally, or you can be super creative yourself and make it from, from scratch. Um, I found a design that was much better than anything I could have come up with myself, purchased it for a couple bucks so I could have lifetime rights to use it. And then I add those items to a cart, pick my recipients from one to as many as I want, might be a thousand, and the system will automatically place the person's name where it belongs on the item. And it gets shipped out with my return address is, with no other labeling uh, or packaging. It doesn't say the company. It came from me. So I become a hero and it's pretty cool. See, when I, when I saw you and the way you introduced that thing, I was very tempted to, to start it. And I haven't yeah. done that yet, but I'm, I'm definitely on the edge because it was so easy the way that you did it. I mean, we just talked on the phone. We yeah. didn't talk. We were in person. We were in person. Yeah, so I can... I can literally send a link to somebody to fill out their name and address. And when they complete the link, the, the order is created. I don't have to do anything else. Um, I can send a text to add somebody to a list. There's a lot of different ways, which is pretty cool. So that's just a side part of it is the automation is amazing. We have, I have dozens of customers that, that are um, retail. Uh, they, they use a Shopify or QuickBooks or some type of invoicing or uh, point of sale purchase uh, system. The systems can talk to each other. And so if somebody makes a purchase, it can automate a card getting sent or a card and brownies or a coffee mug or what have you, uh, getting sent to that customer saying thank you. And it's incredible that that can be automated and the response is amazing, so. Well, what's cool about it is the response because to me, what's happening right now with this whole internet thing and, and what's, what's good about the quarantine is it's forced people to get on video. And I think yeah. video is the best way to be known, liked and trusted. And in yeah. business, I think the relationship is the most difficult thing and the longest process because you can generate mm -hmm. leads by just buying a list. Right. And right. closing the sale isn't going to happen until the relationship's there. That's, that's absolutely fact. Yeah. Doing what you're doing. And uh, I'm assuming you can put it even on a campaign and start sending them monthly kind of thing. You can. Yeah. We have realtors that have something that goes out every quarter after a closing. For the next two and a half years, it's automated. They add them one time to a list and a gift is going to get sent. Um, but it's personalized, so it doesn't feel automated. It's, so that part, you, you know, you mentioned no like, and trust. I think the one thing that's, that's, that there's a fourth piece to that. You got to be remembered. So when it comes time, uh, if a realtor sold somebody a house four years ago, and then they find out somebody bought that, that same customer went with another realtor. They still knew them. They liked them. They trusted them, but they forgot about them. Um, and so yeah. staying top of mind, this system really enables you to do that. You could send postcard with a recipe once a month, spend less than five bucks a customer or prospect mm -hmm. for a year and it can be done. So yeah, I, I completely agree with you. We've, this, this system allows you to inspire referrals. I mean, I get thank yous for thank yous all the time. Prior to this, I didn't get a thank you for a thank you. Why would I, right? And why would anybody? But when it's that profound, when they get it, it's a big deal. So it inspires referrals. It does help build that relationship. Um, it helps with retention of clients and it certainly drives revenue. It's a, 
it's a and, simple process. And it's online. It doesn't have to be delivered. I mean, you don't have to deliver it. No, I, the, the reality, most of the uh, business owners that I've ran into, and I've been in business for a long time, um, they have great intentions. They want to send something. They want to send a thank you at the very minimum. But oftentimes they just don't act on those promptings well, totally. because the system is too buy hard. Something, you bring it home, you take it and package it up. Oh, I got to get packing tape. Right. I got to tap this up. I got to take it to the post office and see how much it weighs. And is that enough? <laughs> right. And yeah. then you had COVID. You couldn't go to the post office for the, it felt like anyways. Right. So you look at the system and now you can actually get it done and then still show up and you're really standing out because people aren't sending anything. So that it's just a, it solves a lot of problems for business owners. I can ask a room of a hundred people, how many people have a client appreciation program? And I might get a couple hands that go up. They just honestly, when they're being honest, they don't have it. And this system will do it for them. It just takes a few minutes to get it set up. You so. talk about the ease of it. I remember when I was doing my magic business full time back in the basically the eighties yeah. and my format would be to get the thing, do the gig, and then I'd follow up with a, a thank you letter and ask them for a letter of recommendation and a, and a business card so I could use their logo on my, my, pro, my printed brochure. But sure. I had that somewhat automated, but still it was a process that, oh, okay, I got to do this. Right. What right. you did with me at the end of that event, it was literally, let me just do this and then, <laughs> Right. And, and ta-da. Today, in, in these days that, oh, I got one of those. I got that. Where, where's my ta-da? That's not it. That's not, I thought I had you've, it. Oh, it's, I've it's, heard it on your videos. It is. I know you've got it. You have a ta-da. It is. <laughs> you know what? I'm, a, I'm an anti-technology guy, so I just got this thing for $9. Okay. Well, that um, works. That it does. I, I try right. to go low tech and I try and use the cord and stuff because sometimes the Wi-Fi does funky stuff. And I, I'm a minimalist. That's I why I like what you're talking about here because it's really, really simple. Yeah. 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 Thanks for asking about it. It's, it's been a really fun thing. It's helped me. I mean, I leveled up my, uh, my retention and my agency went up. Uh, my satisfaction scores went up. My first year retention of clients went up by onboarding people with a, a, a surprise thank you package. I reach out to referral partners that send people business my way. They always end up with something special in the mail and they, they, I can walk into a meeting and people are talking about some brownies that were delivered to them and how delicious they were. And we have gluten free and we have blondie brownies and chocolate. I mean, so now I'm actually trying to tailor that even more to their dietary preferences um, and asking which one of those would they prefer if they ever were to receive it. Um, so yeah, I can send gift cards and all those things too, but they, they don't hit, they're not personalized. So it's not the same thing, but it can be done. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So the, the big question is how do we get a hold of you in case that sounds interesting? How does that work? How do we get a hold of Bo to do that? What's yeah, that? Uh, great question. So there are a couple of different ways. You could go to my website uh, and that is betterappreciation.com. And you will be able to see a little bit more about me and maybe why I use the system. I created a website with a, a business partner uh, so I could showcase that. And there's some pages for insurance professionals, uh, insurance and mortgage, network marketers, uh, and for realtors. But it really can be used by anybody. There's a free account option. I mean, literally free. You just use it as you need it. Well, if you've got um, a big family, you could use it for your family reunions. <laughs> yeah, true. You can use it for so many things. I'm involved with a few nonprofits. We use it for that. Um, you can use it. It's got a list builder service. We, you and I talked about that once upon a time. You can go buy a list for anybody, right? This thing's got a list builder. So you can, if you're a realtor and you need qualified leads with certain credit scores, you can buy 10 cents as a qualified lead and drip it in, add it to the system and all cards go out and you're done. Um, so betterappreciation.com will give you a landing page where it will direct you and you can click over and you can sign up. Um, that's the, probably the best way I can be reached via email. It's bo at betterappreciation.com. Well, I'm telling you, appreciation, I think, is important, and better appreciation is even better. Yeah. Hey, look at you. Look that's at you, go. Hey, that's my thing. I know, how yeah. to, I know how to blend stuff together. Yeah, I see that. It's a I'm gift. I'm a Gemini. Okay. What's that? Hey, I'm a Gemini, too. Yeah. yeah. So my brain Maybe that's why we hit it off. That, way. that could be it. I, yeah. it's, it's a blessing and a curse for me. I mean, I'm, I'm not big into the astrology and the woo-woo and stuff, but my sure. brain functions differently, and I, I just sense it. Like, yeah. It's just a weird thing. It's really easy for me to come up with, with ideas it's cool. and solutions to stuff. It's just yeah. weird. Those are, the two, those are the two best ways to reach me. And, you know, one other thing that we mentioned on the site is that if you don't appreciate your customers, your competition will. And so it really is important. And so if I have somebody that maybe isn't interested in this, I would love for them to give me the name of their competition. 
and I'll sit, talk to them about it because it's a great fit for them well, too. <laughs> in the trade show world, we used to, you know, cause they'd exhibit and I'd say you should, uh, you know, invite your clients and your prospects to the show. And they go, well, I yeah. thought that's your job. You're supposed to be inviting people. Yeah. But if you don't invite them and your competitor invites them, who's going to uh -huh. get the business? There you so go. You got to be first. You got to be top of mind. Yep. That's right. Well, Bo, um, I'm going to close this off and I'm going to pop it up to the universe and let the internet do its work because I'm lazy and I'd rather let all the little uh, algorithms figure it all out. So if you got any parting words for anybody, uh, you, want, you want to share parting some words. more wisdom? Well, first- uh, Not party uh, words. Party not party, words. parting words. Um, well, I, you know what? I didn't get it. I didn't say in the beginning which, what I should have said, which is thanks for having me on. Um, I, I, we met about a, a little over a year ago at the first AGC event and- mm -hmm. uh, and if, if, obviously we haven't been able to meet in person, but for the opportunity just to sit and visit with you, I've watched some of your things. Um, uh, I had Michael on a couple of times, I watched those. And uh, so thanks for the opportunity to share Absolutely. what I can bring. And you if know. you want to do some more of these and maybe like what, what works really good for doing this kind of thing is doing a series. Um, I've uh, done a okay. couple of these with a series of three. Cause to me, there's always, it's like plant the seed, nurture the plant, harvest the fruit. That's yeah. how this thing is. Like the first one might be about you know, how do you generate the leads with the app and all that kind of stuff? The second right. part is, how's the relationship built? Well, it's when the thing gets sent and they appreciate it. And then yeah. how's the close done? Well, they're going to appreciate you so much, they're going to buy insurance from you again. Yeah. So. Well, I, I suppose the last piece is that uh, you, uh, I've followed you and I know that you are a fan of affiliate marketing. Um, there, the, there's an affiliate uh, angle with this company as well. So we have people that have their packages paid for. If you so want to stay cool. on, Maybe that's for like round talk, two. I would like to talk to you about that. Because the, <laughs> the thing with affiliate marketing, here's my, my summary of this. When I told you about how, how it disrupted the event industry. Yeah. When the internet came along, it basically kicked the middleman out. And it gave people access. The consumer got access to the manufacturer. Sure. Direct connect there. So it said to the middleman, see you later. And <laughs> it, it disrupted a lot of the people in the middle. And yeah. then this uh, company, what's it called? Uh, Amazon. They stepped into the place and that's all Amazon is a big giant affiliate for Absolutely. services. And yeah, what's right. happened with this COVID thing is it's made people go, you know what? I don't have a job anymore. I'm at home. What am I going to do? And I believe that affiliate marketing is going to be the next nine to five kind of gig because you can sell anything online and earn a commission from it. I've seen commission or affiliate programs for um, private jet rental, solar mm -hmm. installation, um, bridesmaids dresses. There's a lot of <laughs> online marketing and things. Um, sure. Target stores, Pepsi, uh, Coca-Cola, Ben and Jerry's, they all have affiliate programs. Wow. So you can make a living by just bridging the gap. That's all you have right. to do. And you don't have right. to deliver, you don't have to store, you don't have to do nothing but make the connection. That's all you got to do. So yeah, I, I, I need to learn more about that from you. I'm going to turn off the recording. We can have a chat. Okay more in depth because it's fun talking. I don't get to talk to anybody anymore. <laughs> Agreed. Thanks again, Bo. I appreciate you taking the time today. Peace. Thank you, Magic Brad. Appreciate it.